hey guys welcome to my youtube channel so for today's video um i want to share with you all guys uh, my experiences in life and my realizations in my 25 years of existence and uh, while giving you that life story i would also like you to see the beauty of kuwait so earlier we went outside we went to the airport and while we are uh when, when we are when we are traveling um i videoed some uh, places some uh, scenery in uh, kuwait's road so while i'm telling you my story you will see the beauty of kuwait at the same time so what i want you to do is to please listen intently because I promise you that this video has a lot of uh, important lessons that you may use in the future. So my life story begins in 3, 2, 1. I'm a graduate of secondary education majoring English in one of the prestigious universities in the Philippines, De La Salle University das Marinas, batch 2015, and in the same year, became a licensed professional teacher. Moreover, I was a consistent 100% university scholar and government scholar as well. I was an active college student, joining everything I think I'm good at, such as singing, dancing, acting, leading, cheerleading, and many others. Not bragging, but I have achieved enough to make me and my family so proud, and I'll forever be thankful to Almighty God who made all these possible. But where I am right now? Currently here in the Middle East, serving the Arabs in a casual dining restaurant, treated like nothing but just a servant from a high-achieving individual to a waiter. When I started working as a waiter, my co-workers were always questioning my decision. You could have been teaching in a public school in the Philippines, but why did you choose to be a waiter in Kuwait? It is solely because of my dream, not only for myself, but most especially for my family. I thought about the salary. It's a doubled salary of a public school English teacher and it indeed enticed me. I've swallowed all my pride and took the chance to earn more. Just to make myself clear, I'm not belittling waiters all over the world. I actually have a high respect for them, and I salute all the OFWs out there who sacrifice themselves just to give a better life for their families. At first, to be honest, I felt really small and pitied myself, but as the time went by, I was able to slowly accept it, especially when I finally purchased a house unit in a subdivision for my family and got insurances using the money I've earned from being a waiter. It's not bad at all to sometimes swallow your pride for your dreams. To everyone who knows me personally, sorry if I tried to hide this fact. I'm not just really proud of what I have become after all the achievements I had. This experience truly humbled me, unfortunately to the extent that I'm not confident enough to apply for a higher and better position than a waiter. To be honest, it crashed all the confidence I've gathered from my achievements because I was barely recognized by our company as a good employee. I didn't even get a promotion in three years of working so smart and hard. I felt untrusted and like incapable of being a manager, but I'll forever be still thankful despite all these because I was able to become what I am right now. Now in God's grace and mercy, I'm just waiting to be transferred to my new company. I got in a prestigious general trading and construction company in Kuwait, hired as a human resource coordinator. I got my confidence back since someone believed in me again. I'll forever be thankful and I promise to do everything I can to help the company to grow more. Life is indeed like a wheel. Sometimes you are up, sometimes you are down. Just keep on moving forward, continuously try to be the best version of yourself day by day, and always see situations with a silver lining. <laughs> Thank you. 
there you go so what can you say about uh, the beauty of Kuwait and about the beauty of my life story so I want you to comment down below everything that you want to tell me that you want to share with me I, re I would really appreciate that and um, so now again I'm really happy to share with you uh, knowledge and um, some information about myself about Kuwait and uh, if you like this video please hit the like button and share this video with your friends maybe on your Facebook account Instagram Twitter snapchat or any social media accounts that you have and do not forget also to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to to hit the notification bell button para ma-update kayo sa mga susunod kong videos, okay? So, thank you so much guys and I really hope to see you on my next videos. Bye-bye!